400,000 people slip and fall getting in and out of the bathtub every year. The bathtub was never intended to stand in. It's called the bathtub, not called the shower tub. The reason why it's very difficult to stand in the bathtub because a hundred years ago, this is the original bathtub made by Mr. Kohler. It's called a villager, it actually looks like a coffin. Very difficult. The reason why Mr. Kohler made the bathtub the way he did, he tried to make something rock hard look comfortable. So you made a curve and smoothie and relaxable and everything else. But you take that same tub and start standing in it to take a shower, it becomes very, very difficult. Just to quick show you the difference between this tub and my tub, both tubs are the same length, both tubs are the same width. The first thing you're gonna see is how much bigger my tub is because of the patents that I have. The first patent I have is called an undercut. And if you think about it, it's behind the apron of my tub. It's like the toe kick in the kitchen cabinets. You stick your toe into the toe kick to get closer to the countertop. You tuck your toe into the undercut, and as you step out, your toe and your heel are two and a half inches apart. The only tub in the world that allows you to maintain center of gravity as you're getting in and out of the tub. So with the undercut here, when you go to step out of my tub down here, the space between your toe and your heel can be as close as two and a half inches apart, and it will allow you to maintain center of gravity. The undercut also works like a built-in splash guard, and when children or dogs are in there playing, they keep splashing the water back into the tub. So if it stays dry on the outside, you have a better chance of not sliding. The other thing the undercut does, as you can see, the cavity that's created by the undercut allows you to bring children and dogs underneath you better so you're not leaning over as far. The other thing I have in my bathtub, I have a patent on the back wall. The back wall from the stud to where it drops inside the tub, it measures exactly inch and a quarter. Why inch and a quarter? Because when you go to finish the tub, you use half inch wonder board with half inch marble. When you finish the tub, it appears to go flush with the inside of the tub so it appears like the tile wall goes right down inside the tub. I took away that disgusting ledge you have to clean and they added those inches inside the tub. No one else in the world can give you a tub as big as mine. I am at least five inches bigger than the nearest competitor because of the two patents. We have five more inches down here at the bottom of the tub because of the combination of the undercut and the skinny back wall. The other thing I did on the tub is I made the bottom of the tub flat. You can almost look at my tub like a, a shower base with tall walls. If you're ever using a handicapped chair, this is the old fashioned tub that's curved in. There's no room to fit the handicapped chair. And remember, both these tubs are the same exact size. My tub, 26 inches, 26 inches on the bottom, allows for the handicapped chair to fit very easily inside the tub. Acrylic bathtubs don't sit on the floor. They have to be reinforced with a material underneath here called Structolite. It's a liquid concrete that you put down underneath the tub, you squish it down, put sandbags in there, and you wait 24 hours for it to dry. What I've done is I have two layers of acrylic, one that you stand on and one that sits on the floor. In between here, I already did the Structolite job for you. So now you don't have to go buy the Structolite and they save you one whole day on install. The third patent is quite, quite unbelievable, actually. Did you know that two thirds of all the people in the country are visually impaired? That relates to 200 million people. 200 million people visually impaired are stepping into a bathtub or a shower every morning to take a shower. And what's the first thing they do before they step into the tub? They take the glasses off. So now you have 200 million people visually impaired trying to navigate over a white on white on white bathtub. How do they distinguish the height of the apron to step over? So my tub now can be made in a two-tone tub. Now this is just a simulation, but it's gonna tell you what it's all about. My tub now can get a different color on the top and a different color on the bottom. So when you go to navigate over the tub, you can see the distinction in the color difference. Also, when you go to step down on the bottom of the tub, you can almost feel the bottom of the tub before you touch it. That's patent number three. 
So I just want to show you this picture right here. This is the picture on the East River in the city, a company called Two Trees Management. They've accepted my tub in one of these two buildings, the apartment, one is the condos. They're gonna also build another building in front of this building, and they're also gonna knock down the Domino Sugar Factory and build a third building. The project is up to five buildings in the next five years, which means 4,000 tubs for me in the next five years, because they saw the need for my tub, the benefits of the tub, and they're putting it in their project. You can see a couple of pictures of my tub installed. I have one right here in gray, very sleek looking, very modern. Has a marble background and you can see there's no ledge to the tub right there. This is a actual utility pattern I have on my tub. I have three of these, one for the undercut, one for the back wall, and one for the two-tone tub for the visually impaired. This is a utility pattern which is very hard to get. They go back up to 100 years to find out if anybody else came up with the idea, and we all know nobody did, because bathtubs are all shaped like this and they're very unconducive to stand in and take a shower. We have 34 locations in the country. We can ship anywhere we want in the country. And just give us a ring, give us an address, we'll get the tub to you overnight.